Thanks for tuning in to WSKI TV 17. Time to check of your latest local forecast and what's happening. This is brought to you by 45 North. You can find them in the Sugarloaf Mountain Hotel. Open year-round for some great breakfast to fuel you up for your day, enjoying the outdoors as well as some great dinner at night. And you can find this and much more at our website on all your internet devices at WSKITV.com. Well, looking like a good couple days to round out the work week. Mostly sunny skies out there for the day on Thursday. Highs in the upper 60s. Overnight lows right around 50 degrees with a light northwest wind, 5 to 10 miles an hour for the day on Thursday. So get out there and enjoy that sunshine. We'll see warm temperatures on Friday. Highs reaching 80 degrees. Overnight lows in the upper 50s. A west wind very noticeable out there. 15 to 20 miles with some higher gusts out there. And we're calling it mostly sunny skies and breezy out there. So be aware of that. If you're going to go out paddling on the lake or out for a road ride on your road bike, the wind will be out of the west and fairly gusty. Looking ahead towards more of the weekend, doesn't look like a washout, but maybe we just want to have that raincoat handy. Uh, cloudy skies out there on Saturday with a 50% chance of showers, a high uh, temperature of 70 degrees, so that is looking nice. And Sunday and Monday, we'll see highs in the lower 60s with those clouds sticking around and a chance of showers out there. Looking at the mountain bike trail conditions, things are drying up nicely out there on the trails. Uh, Oak Knoll and the single track reroutes off of Newton Re Newton's Revenge have opened up this week. Uh, also, the Reddington Loop is opened up and a couple trails at the Sugarloaf Outdoor Center, but most of the Sugarloaf Outdoor Center is closed, the single track out there, while it continues to dry out, but plenty of riding. And if you want to get your kids into riding, mountain bike day camps are happening and uh, being offered by the town of Carabasset Valley. You can go on their website and find out more, carabassetvalley.org. And this weekend on May 26th, a trail work day at the Sugarloaf Outdoor Center. They'll be cleaning up some of the trails from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. You can find out more at carabassetnemba.org as well as updated trail conditions uh, and more detailed trail conditions as well. Bowling lanes, virtual golf, and arcade, great food, great bar. Monday is open mic night at the Sugar Bowl. Sugar Bowl. Sundays, 10 person or 10 dollars per person bowling and also want to let you know about 10 percent off norwalk furniture sale at birchwood interiors that goes right until the beginning of june so take advantage of that get some new furniture for your home camp or condo and if you want to get outside and explore flagstaff lake and the rich history as well as some awesome scenery flagstaff lake scenic tours with jeff hinman will be starting up this weekend so that's a great opportunity to get out and see the backside of bigelow as well as learn about some of the stuff out on Flagstaff Lake. And if you want to see in real time what's happening here at the base of the mountain, taking a look into the sky and see how the weather is, check out our quad cam right on our website as well as lots of other videos of things to do to keep you busy while you're here in the main High Peaks region. You can also find us on uh, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And as always, our website, wskitv.com.